So we were recently contacted by a perfume brand who wanted to create custom retail and final packaging for their perfume. And the reason they reached out to us is that the packaging of standard types of perfumes is very often almost as expensive, if not more expensive than the actual material itself. So in creating the experience for this type of a product, you invest very heavily to create something that is unique and stands out from everything else. So very often just a cardboard box or standard plastic packaging just won't do it. The bottle itself and the experience of opening it up and storing it has to be very carefully tailored, as well as the presentation of it inside of a store. So they reached out to us because 3D printing could create something that was fully unique and different from what anybody else had ever done with perfume. So the first place we started with this was with actually the retail presentation. We first started with how to display the bottle itself, and we started with these very simple kind of shapes that had cutouts in them in order to display the bottle in a very unique kind of situation. But of course, black is a very harsh color, not very often very effeminate, so it's not a color that was used. It could be used for like men's cologne, but it wasn't that good and it was almost, it disappears and the detail disappears. So we started exploring kind of more organic shapes around stone and gold and kind of metallic-y colors. And this one was fine and actually tested pretty darn well because it looks like the bottle is embedded in rock. And we tried different colors around silver and some reds and that kind of a thing. But the overall shape of this wasn't quite right. So they ended up going a slightly different direction. But this is a great way of displaying a piece of retail merchandise because you're able to create something that was never possible before. This type of case or stand for a piece of retail is very difficult to manufacture and very difficult to do so affordably. But then the challenge that we had with this was actually the fact that since it was so complex, the layer lines start to appear on top of the rocks here because they shallow out. So we would generally want to do a sharper sort of crystal rather than simple rounded stones or the tops there. Something really sharp and jagged, something like this is a better option in that context because you're able to ensure that it doesn't look 3D printed at all. And in fact, this does not. It looks like something that was sculpted and carved rather than something that was molded or plastic. But ultimately, we ran through a number of different ways of displaying the bottle. This is something that would appear inside the retail store in order to show off and be kind of the hero image for the product. But eventually, you have to put that bottle into packaging. And that is where we came up with this. This is the packaging for the Velour perfume. And you can see the outer side of it is a textured surface, almost looks like fabric or felt, even though it is in fact plastic. The logo itself is inset and it is smooth in order to make sure that it pops out from the pearlescent white box that we've got here. And then inside, you went with a metallic copper color where the bottle is firmly displayed inside of there. And in fact, we wanted to mess with the fit a little bit more so that the sound doesn't sound plastic like that either. We would generally recommend using something like felt or um, some other sort of fabric material around the outside of the interior part in order to catch it, much like a jewelry box that you would run into or like a ring box where everything is velvet and smooth and doesn't have that grind as it's pulled out. But it was still early in the stages of the design here for this one. But you can see that the bottle is now perfectly displayed in a nice little slot there. It could be pulled out, but it looks like a jewel embedded in a bunch of metal as if you had just mined this crystal from the rock itself. And at the same time, it's inside of this nice pearl outer case that is elegant and simple. Now, one of the tricks that we did with this is that you do not want to print these uh, upside down or anything silly like that because you end up getting the bed texture on it. So this was printed vertical just like this, and then this was printed upside down on the printer like this. And that allowed us to create this angled upper surface right here, and equally an angled upper surface inside of this box itself. That way they align like this and you do not have to worry about any sort of overhang sagging so that the fit, when it goes together, is perfect and flush all the way through and you don't have to be concerned about uh, manufacturing difficulty there. All the edges are beveled and rounded slightly. 
Um, and again, the interior also has that same slightly roughened texture as if it was sanded, but it also gives it a very naturalistic sort of appearance that you can't really get with other types of manufacturing. It's a piece of noise that we add inside of the slicing. So whether it is just the retail display itself or the actual final retail packaging, you can create really fantastic pieces for premium products with 3D printing that were never able to be created before in the same way and with the same type of features until now. Comment down below if you would like to see other examples of uh, 3D printed packaging or products. Uh, Velour is not a real brand. It is a uh, brand that we had ChatGPT make up for us and then we created the logo and displayed it right there and designed the packaging around it. But we do have a lot of clients who ask us for packaging and retail displays. So we wanted to give some examples of how to do that and perfume is a really good example. Comment down below what other stuff you'd like to see. And of course, always give us a like and subscribe. Have a great day, everybody.